Hey guys, uh, I almost forgot to give you a video clip telling you about what we're doing on ESP World number 156. Can you believe it? Tons of cool stuff on that one, including we're doing a whole lot of boxing uh, like Bob Fitzsimmons. And fun, fun stuff with the foot shifts about how to have levels that go up and down, all working off the toe and the heels, and how to really build up some power off those shots. Enough of that. What we want to do right here is we do continue to run some work with the bar and chancery off the short offense when we get to the mat. And one of the things we want to make sure we're doing a bar and chancery is that you're doing a real live bar and chancery and not the fake shell hold of a head and underhook. That ain't going to work for you. And uh, make sure what I'm talking about. Kyle, can I bring you in? I'm going to have uh, you do this because uh, you're going to do the demo on it because I don't know if you uh, realize this. Uh, I, I'm a weight class or few above her and also yeah, a little bit more than that probably. And it's probably more impressive when you see well, she's a girl. It's usually girls are weaker than the class. I was saying, please don't start writing me stuff. You know what I'm saying here. You're, 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 hopefully you follow uh, what I'm saying here. So when we do a bar and chancery, we know we're hooking up the head and we've got an underhook. So we'll go ahead and hook up a bar and chancery, please. Boom. Everything's perfect. Going on wonderful. So you've got to hold the chin here. When you're hooking the chin, you can either grab the chin or you can take that finger and dig it right in the, in the molars. I don't care. Both of them work. They're wonderful. But right now, she's setting up a proper bar and chancery. Means, look, she's got the chin and she's reached for the far pocket. Whenever I say bar and underhook, well, arm and underhook, just grab that upper lamp there. You're not even used to doing it the wrong way. And this is wrong. Everything about this is wrong, and it's wrong because I told her to grab it wrong. She's got the head, she's got the chin. This weak underhook, if she were going to back step and turn me now, which we're not going to do because we're just out here on concrete. The problem with this, why it is wrong, is because there's no uh, stability with it. Resist. Do not let me get your arm out of play, all right? This is what I'm talking about. It's got no problem for me to spin out of this just simply because of the weight class and the size and the strength, uh, the strength differential. Now she's going to hook it up properly, which when she uses that underhook arm, uh, that's, she reaches all the way from my far hip pocket. Go ahead and hook that up. We see how she's reached all the way to here. Everything's nice and tight. You can do the same amount. Don't let me bend that arm. <laughs> Turn that a little bit. Okay, folks, I'm not putting that on. It's not a show hold. Shh. I can't make that work. Of course, but this isn't a static hold. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. It's not a static hold. We're staying there. We know we're only there for that fraction of a second before we start doing that back step. Getting yourself some nice pancake dropping right off in the flat cranks, chin uh, hook cranks, sit out cranks, over to the short arm scissors, everything from there. But the difference why you have to reach for that back pocket because it's effortless. So you could basically just leave that arm nice and light because it's. Uh, I would be trying to pull through this, it's trying to uh, pull uh, her skeleton through my back. The other way means it's all strength trying to make everything work. Just laying that arm across the back, so basically you think, hook the head, reach for the back pocket, and this arm can go dead if you want, and it's not going anywhere. Again, not a static position, it must be a transition to that submission chain, which will run on 156. Hope you enjoy that.